All right, all right, all right. You know what it is, right? It's time to harvest some worms. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to harvest some worms today. Welcome back, everybody. So I got everything set up over here on sound stage number four. <laughs> and we're going to harvest us some worms. So that's where we're going. That's what we're doing. So yes, it's going to be nice. Real nice. Real fun. We're going to have a blast. You're going to go along with me. Okay? I'm going to talk. But I'm not going to stop after I start. Then I'm going to go back and I'll be able to tell how, how long it took. So anyway... So that's where we're at. So uh, come along for the ride. So uh, just so everybody knows, I made a video earlier. I hadn't dropped it yet, but it will be dropped by the time you watch this video. I uh, made a video on um, checking to see if your worms is healthy or not. How to know if they're, uh, you know, getting down and doing the right thing and getting along and happy with the way you're treating them. And feeding them and loving on them and talking to them and all that good stuff. So, y'all go check that out. I'll put it in the description. So, uh, you can go check that one out too. And, uh, yeah, we've been, uh, having a little rain today. I did come down. One reason why I came down, just to check. I always check on them when it rains. It popped a little bit of thunder out here too. So, I was like, well, let me check, make sure ain't nobody. Getting any bright ideas, telling everybody it's gonna rain, and maybe we gotta go. So, um, and nobody, nobody even came up to the top, but in a couple of bins. But, um, which is good. We didn't wanna, we didn't wanna lose nobody. What are you gonna do with all these castings you fixing to pull out, huh? Because your last tote's full of, mm hmm. Yeah. Keep it. Sit down and shut up over there. So, that's what we're going to do. We're just going to put them on one of these empty totes we got over here. We got plenty of them so far. So, uh, hope everybody had a good day, even though it's raining down here in the south, down here in North Kakalaki. It's, uh, getting us a little bit of rain. So, uh, Set that up there and see if that goes to moving. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, a little bit of rain down here. A little messy day. Good day to come down and mess with the worms, though. It's always a good day to come down and mess with the worms, ain't it? So, uh, my wife, is she's going to work. Working on a property for my father, and uh, she went to go help him do some interior um, finishing work. Now, this stuff's still loaded with babies and cocoons, but we're not going to worry about that today. We're doing we're doing worm harvesting. We're not we're not doing cocoons and hatchlings. We're doing worms. These suckers right here. That's what we're after today. So, yeah. Yeah, we're uh, get to the finish line on this this bin right here. It's getting it's getting good and muddy. Uh, that's just a hide and tail when she's done. Just made up some fresh bedding. One thing I was doing earlier, getting some bedding going. Want to get some bedding going. It's all therapeutic for me. I have a good old time getting bedding going, mixing up. It smells really good in here now because I got that bedding and, and the coffee grounds all mixed together and everything. and It puts off a r really nice aroma, actually. So, yeah, it smells good down here in the worm room. So, uh, I will uh will address something that come come to 
somebody brought to my attention or made a comment that uh they made the dirt comment again, the soil comment again. I just want to remind everybody out there, this ain't dirt. This ain't soil. This is castings. The material I use is called bedding. And it is uh, made of leaf compost, leaf mulch, leaf litter, coffee grounds, and yard waste compost. It's all sifted down into a pretty, as fine as I can get it. Uh, through a quarter inch sifter and then it's kept over here in a bin and it's kept semi moist and then once I get done resetting the bin pulling this out is when I'll throw it back in here and re-wet it and everything so I don't know somebody was confused I called it soil and no, it's not soil. These are not earthworms. They are earthworm species. But these are not your... I don't know what the name of them is. You're not never going to get me to ever call Red Wigglers by their given name either. Because I don't... Mm -mm, hard enough for me to speak English. So anyway. But uh, these are not earthworms. These do not... They don't eat... They don't, they don't eat dirt. They eat compost and decaying material. And that's what they do. That's why they only live in the top three inches of the soils because they're, they're into whatever's falling on the ground or whatever's gone, you know, down in the lower section that they can get to. But, um, but yeah, so let's all just try to remember that. If this is not soil, I won't ever call I may, I, hold on, I may call it dirt one or two times. Yes, sir, I might. But, um, uh, it ain't, it ain't dirt. It's a soil amendment. We're making organic fertilizer. Like I said before in another video, that you can't take a bucket of this stuff and put seeds in it. You like taking a whole bucket of uh, Miracle Grow and putting seeds in it. You wouldn't do that either. So that's pretty much where we're at with that. I kind of like my method of light method I, I don't even i don't even call it the light method i guess i call it hand picking method or the dirty joe method huh what do you think about that call it the dirty joe anyway yeah just snatch them out <laughs> i guess that's what you're doing but uh you know i don't know i just i'm impatient yeah i got other things to do so like I said, all I'm getting is the big ones out, so I'm just, you know, I'm just rolling it like this, and pretty much, and it pops, it'll crack open in a, in a ball or something, and, and, and a worm will pop out. If it's big enough for me to pick up, like that one right there, I'll go, oh, okay, and I'll put that in the bin right there. Yeah, we'll use the light here in a minute, though, once we get everybody in a, in a bucket, we'll, uh, in a pail here, we'll. We'll flip them back out in a minute and clean some of these castings off of them so we can get a correct weight. Because I am going to actually see how much I got in this bin. And then I'm going to make a decision on whether or not I'm going to uh, split them off. Because I, like I said, I got, I got a pile of bins in here that need to be reset. And uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'm going to get, 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 get. I'm going to go in there and uh, split them out of this one. I've still got the big bin in the floor down here, the big purple bin. And it's got a ton of worms in it, I know. So we won't, we won't run too short on worms. So, yeah. We'll see. Looking pretty good for right now. Nice big old fat healthy worms. So that's always a good sign. But uh yeah. I think it'll do good this way. But uh I'm curious to see what we got. I mean I mean, hold on, I don't remember what we put in here. So it can't be too impressed. I know it, it roughly somewhere between three, three, three and a half ounces of worms all that went in here. 
because most of my split outs were six and seven. So I do remember that those weights. So I had a 12. Um, I don't even remember where it went. But I, yeah, I did have a 12, a 12 ounce. Um, out of one bin, I think it might have been the big bin down here on the floor. So anyway, but I think I split it. So I think I wound up putting six, six ounces in there maybe. So I don't know. That's been too long for me to remember. I don't know why. Why everybody thinks I can remember stuff like that? <laughs> so anyway, but yeah, like I said, it's not it's not real crazy. I haven't got tired enough. I got to sit down yet. I got a chair over here if I want one. But uh, I think we're gonna just gonna stand up, be good, stand up for a little while. But I'm gonna call that. That one, pretty much done. Now everybody knows why we leave that little bit in there, right? That's right. Everybody knows. So we're gonna go and clean this sucker down here like this, right? And then we're gonna do that, right? right. And then like that. And we'll put it on cheap. And do one like that. I'm really impatient. I am a highly impatient person. Worms move way too slow for me. So, anyway. But, okay. We'll let the rest of them dive. How about that? Okay? Never mind. Thank you. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Come here. And you. And you keep sticking your head up as you know. Uh -huh. You always want to guess. Mm -hmm. Alright. So, anyway. We'll let them... What if it's left in that little ball? Do their thing. Now on to the next one. So, let's go and get right into the meaty gritty gritty. I've been down for a couple of days. It's been hard for me to get a video in. I had to and then the other night and get a video in and it took a lot out of me to get down here to get a video. Been hurting pretty bad. The weather's getting me all jacked up. Arthritis. All that good stuff. Try to make consistent content so everybody come and check us out and hang out with us. Y'all let me know what you think about the new thumbnails. I thought they were pretty cool. That's pretty high tech for me to have to go in and run this. New little thumb, thumbnail maker thing I downloaded on my phone. But I like it though. It looks really professional. I like it. What you think about the new thumbnails? I'm gonna try to use them a little bit. I like I like the whole creative creativity thing of the whole deal. That's what gets me about it. Still ain't figured out how to do a couple of them, but 
getting better. It's got this background thing it wants me to run, and I can't figure out how to do the backgrounds I want to do. I can load up some of them, but I can't do the splits. So I had to make a little make a split collage to do uh, some of the new thumbnails. One of the new thumbnails that I made. But uh, anyway, it's it's doing good. I like I like it. I'm sorry, we'll get them out. It ain't bad every time I turn it over and find more worms. Still ain't got the corner cleaned out, do I? About to get it done. Well, that's working out pretty good. We wound up with quite a bit of castings going in the uh, nursery bins. So, that'll be good. Mm -hmm. Stay still, man. Jumping out there like that. Jumping around. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't know how long the first one took. I'll have to go back and look, and we'll talk about that, I guess, in a minute. Found one hiding out over here. Now, like I said before, it's it's okay if I miss a couple. I'll be all right. I'll get them eventually because I'm gonna turn these. I usually turn these uh casting bins about every week or so to try to pull out any pickers I can find after they're done hatched and stuff. That's all we're doing is pulling hatchlings out and letting the cocoons hatch, and then I'll wind up with finished castings in the end. 
That's the object. They're way finished. Um, yeah, a little bit more finished than I like. Plus, it's mucky because it's got some food in it. I fed them the other day because I didn't want to leave them starving. And so I just kind of fed them. And that feed will come out and it'll go into this bin right here and it'll actually go to help feed the hatchlings so yeah it's a never stopping process so Seeing worms in my sleep. Oh, oh clean it. Get in the bowl. Get in the bowl. Like I said, I like this method a whole lot better. I mean, I don't think it stresses the worms out half as much. Yeah, I'm shifting them, moving them around or whatever, but I still don't think it's as bad as riding through a trauma or running through a sifter and getting dried out for a week to go through a sifter. And just that whole, that whole ordeal. I still think this is a whole lot less traumatic on the worms. Now, I haven't gotten any grievance forms from any of them. So I'm not 100% sure how they're liking it. But, I don't know. It just makes me feel like it's, it's better. A whole lot better on me because I ain't got much to do here. I do this little bit for a little while and then I'm done. So... Hear the dogs. Mommy's home. Mm -hmm. We about got them here.
pretty good batch over here on this side. So, that's doing pretty good. That ain't bad. Uh oh. They have made it in here, evidently. cut this thing on pause for a minute and uh, I'm not gonna do anything I'm not gonna mess with them I'm just gonna pause it and then we'll come back and see what the time was on it all right we're back so yeah definitely uh was 11 minutes roughly for this being so far and I mean it's gonna take us another minute I guess maybe to uh to go through this little pile here i guess and uh see what we got in here and go from there well, like i said i'm not selling them so i don't have to clean them all the way up or anything like that so we'll we'll be all right either way and I'm not selling somebody a pound of worms or a half a pound of worms or a quarter pound of worms. So I can weigh this, some of these castings in here with them. So either way, so we're just going to get a rough estimate of what we got in the jug. And just go from there. Like I said, I always, my way outs are always light because I don't run these things for six months or eight months or however long most people run them I run for just a little bit and I get the babies and the cocoons out and that's a whole nother thing that's a whole nother deal over here that I will get more worms out of so the whole total of the worm population that I'm trying to weigh out or whatever really isn't representative in here because it's just basically most of my breeders again you see and so that's you know that's a little bit of that which i don't care like i said i'm not in a competition to grow more worms than somebody or whatever i'm just doing it my way it's my way or the highway so anyway Alright. That man looks real happy now. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Let's do a way up. See what we're working with here. Thing never wants to cut on the first time. What that's about. That's it identical bowl here and we're gonna tear it off mm -hmm. all right now let's see what we're working with uh 3.4 so that's not bad and like i said I, I don't i can't guarantee what was put in here and what wasn't put in here and it's only been three months and so we got what we got are we gonna steal somebody here might what do you think? Or well, might not. I know we got a ton of worms in this purple bin down here that I can pull out. So that's probably what we're just going to do. Probably just going to take and just do that. And then that way, um, I don't have to worry about it. Because like I said, I don't want to lose my breeding amount that I usually have anyway. So, uh, yeah. So if I haven't asked you to yet, and I don't think I have, so listen, if you've been here this long, you know you want to come back and check it out. So go on and hit the like button and subscribe and leave a comment and let me know, share it out to everybody. Alright, so there's one cup.
two cups. Three cups. Four. Six cups. All right. And uh, I'm going to go get some water. All right. A little bit of water for them. One quart of water to six quarts of bedroom is what the recipe calls for. Now this bed and I haven't gotten a chance to dampen it down, so it may have cost more than that. You don't know the truth. So we mix them old castings in and you say, I want to kick it off, get it started good, move the home away from home for them. Uh, I'll wait a little while to feed them. It just depends on when I get around to it, but we're feeding them now. They got plenty to eat. So. Somebody made a comment about the amount of bedding. and They'll break it down. It'll be less for them to break down. They're going to get every drop of this. Well, not every drop because I'm going to pull it out before they get finished. But if I leave them in here for six to eight months, they're going to eat six quarts of bedding. That's, that's, that's how it works. So if you add six quarts of bedding, you're going to get, you know, you're going to get them to eat it all. So I'm liking that right there. It's, it's uh, like I said, it's a little clumpy, but then you touch it and it falls apart. That's, that's what it needs to be. Like that right there. So it's a good way to test it. Make sure you wet enough, not too wet. And it'll get wetter. The more it gets closer to getting finished, it gets wetter. The castings absorb less um, uh, moisture. And so you've got, you, you get, you get, the moisture gets more and more, because especially when I, the way I feed them with their water already mixed into their food. So, but look at there, new home for the little children. Piece of lettuce for them. <laughs> anyway, here we go. A little straggler there holding on to the last moment. Take a quick look up in here and see if we see any purple hair is moving. Nothing moving. We're good on that one. So now, on to the next one. Hmm. Now this one here I hadn't cleaned yet. So what did that take? A couple minutes added on to the 
the whole cleaning out deal. So we were, what, 11 minutes and five more minutes to do that. We got 16 minutes in the finish being reloaded, ready to go, probably 15 minutes or so. I'm okay with that. I've seen people sip longer than 15 minutes. So, I don't know what kind of we should do this. I think we're going to do it like this first. Alright, enough of that. in here anyway like I said I'm just trying to get most of the castings all so I can get a halfway accurate way in you know that's all but at the same time I'm honestly not even worried about it because I can see the, the babies and the cocoons and the hatchlings and everything I mean I'm tickled Man, this is a good reset they they doing their job. That's that's the main thing. Picking up some castings off. And the worms back in. So. I ain't too worried about, about the castings anyway. Three point four zero on that one. So, hey, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. We'll take that too. So, uh, yeah, we're good. Yeah. All right. So what we'll do is we'll uh, swing this in here in the middle, and we're gonna do the same mix. I wish you had smell the vision. I wish you could smell this bed and it's an awesome smell. It's like, I don't know. It's like the forest floor kind of. I don't know. It's just really, really smells really good. Who's counting? Is that four? Mm -hmm. 
six. Coffee. Oh, damn. Coffee for today. Mix it up good, like so. Pink hairs. <laughs> yeah. Let me see if I can show you what a pink hair looks like. Little bitty thing. I had to hold the bowl up to the light so that I could see it. But anyway, those are the things I don't hunt. <laughs> yeah, those are the things I don't hunt. Make sure we ain't got no more stuck anywhere on our glove. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is it. That's how you work that thing like that and put some more fat and happy worms back in a fat and happy home. And we're going to take these castings over here, which are probably a good, I don't know, let's see. Let's see what we got. There's two of them. Oh, yeah. Um, probably at least, I don't know. You know, they're wet, though. But um, I'd say at least 10, 15 pounds, probably. So, uh, yeah. Looks good to me. There's another pink hair. Alright, well that's that. That's that. That's how you do it. Right there. Bada bing, bada bang. So, uh, I appreciate you coming, checking it out, hanging out with the old man. So I have to be in here talking to myself. So, uh, like I always say it, just uh, do what YouTube tells me to tell you to do. Hit the ding, the dang, the bing, the bang. Subscribe, like, comment, do your stuff. I appreciate every single one of you. Y'all matter. So uh, we'll catch you on the next one.